Hi everybody. Well, today is my special day. Today is my birthday, and I can't believe I made it to this year. Um, I'll let you know what the year is, but I tell you what, why don't you, uh, in the comments, um, guess, and whoever hits it first, well, then you'll finally know once and for all how elderly I am. And <laughs> believe me, I am. Um, it's hard to believe that I actually made it to this age. How much longer I have, I don't know, but uh, knowing people like me, uh, who knows, a uh, hundred more years? That's too little. About a thousand. Um, it's so interesting to, to uh, look back at some of my earliest memories. Just think, that some of my earliest memories, I can actually remember we had in our house an icebox. And I can remember the guy coming with the prongs or whatever, with his big block of ice, I think it was every two or three days, and uh, my mother would open the top of this box and he, he put it in there, and she or my father used to take the drawer out underneath and empty the water. I used to wonder about that, actually, because I, you know, I'm the kind of person that wonders about things. I'm still wondering. Um, I can remember ice boxes. Hey, I can remember our first TV, and it was something my dad got from some one of his friends who was upgrading to a better TV. It was a great big huge cabinet, but the screen was about this big, and my sister and I, we were, we were really, really young then, and, but we were fascinated. One of the stations was pretty clear, and the other one looked like there was a, a blizzard going on all the time. I didn't like that station. Uh, the stations would go on and off. In other words, I guess they'd be on for uh, three or four hours, and then they'd be off for a while. And I'd say, hey, Mom, it went off, and she'd tell me, well, wait, you know, X amount of time, and, and uh, Farmer Alfalfa or Felix the Cat or whatever, well, they'll, they'll be back on to see me, and sure enough, they were back on to see me. I mean, just think of some of the things I can remember. Um, the things we used to play with when we were kids, compared to the kids of today, it was great. You know, we kids could have more fun with just an old discarded big cardboard box then I think the kids can, with any of their uh, present toys for us, child-proof toys. I mean, we get some kid in one of these boxes, and we toss him all around until that box finally ripped. But we had a lot of fun. Oh, and, and the uh, not child-proof tin toys that were so cheap in the store that you would wind up. Oh, God, I love those things. And it was, it was absolutely hilarious because, uh, huh, you could always count on one of those tin toys that began with lots of chuckles and uh, happiness and cheers of joy. <laughs> it always ended up with a big fight. See what would happen. They were cheap toys anyway, but kind of valuable today. And uh, somebody would wind it up and we'd cheer, or maybe the, something would go wrong with the gears. We would keep going, but eventually you could count on it. Somebody would not look at what they're doing, and by accident, they'd, they'd step on the thing and crush it. Well, that started a great big fight going. Um, me, of course, I stood back. I was a model child. I never would do anything like that, but I think I've lived enough years now where I'm going to make a confession to Mrs. Loving Bean. What, what a name for the old bitch. I, I mean, for, for, for the dear old lady. Uh, she was the crabby lady on the street, and if we dared, on our way home from school, to step on her lawn, she'd be right out there with a rake or a broom yelling at us. So, hey, I got her on Halloween. And by the way, she was, <laughs> she was also a cheapskate on Halloween. You know those cheap candy corns? When I was a kid, they were really cheap. She had something like a, a, a parakeet bird scoop, and she'd scoop it into this big bowl of candy corns and just sprinkle it into the bag. And, you know, you get about four of them, big deal. So uh, I get here for a few Halloweens in a row, and how I did it was this. Yeah, I'll give you the confessional, so what? Uh, um, I cut the top off of a milk carton <clears throat> and fill it with pretty much full of water. Of course, I wouldn't tell my mother and father about this, because back in those days, we didn't have time out. You know, we got spat, but uh, somehow I think the kids were better off for it. So, I fill this thing with water, and here's the door, and I lean it up against the door at an angle. I ring the doorbell and I run <coughs> as fast as I can, 
she goes to open the door and sees nobody there, and suddenly she looks down, and her feet are all wet, because naturally the thing fell inside. Oh, I was so sweet, wasn't I? I won't tell you the other things I did. But, you know, all those fun things are gone now. I, I really, I feel sorry for the kids today. I mean, they've got their cell phones, and they text message, but I think we kids had, had really all the fun. So anyway, it's a happy birthday to me. And, uh, My uh, um, dysfunctional cuckoo, he wanted to say hello too. Now, uh, I got one gift a few days ago from a friend, and I'll show you what it is, and then I got another one that uh, <laughs> mother dropped on the front porch. I haven't looked inside this bag. I'm going to open up right in front of you, and I've got my, uh, this will be my birthday treat because I am diabetic, but uh, I'll go for an Andy's Mint celebration. Oh, wow, isn't this exciting? Hey, here's what I got. Um, a genuine do-it-yourself color pro hair cutting kit. Um, I tried it a few days ago. I did this myself. Um, I, uh, I, you know, I, I should learn by this age to read directions, but I did. So I picked out uh, apparently the wrong colors, and I took it just a little bit too short, but that's okay. After I make this video, I think I'll, I'll. Uh, I'll read the directions again and I'll run over it and uh, who knows I might even come back and give you a, a, a short hair update. I was known in the past for the long hair one so uh, why not have a short hair update? But hey it worked really great. Um, you can let me know if you think it looks okay or if it looks like hell. I don't care. At my age what do I care? So um, let's get to what mother has sent dropped on the front porch. She's too cheap to put something. I mean, uh, she's she's thrifty and she's frugal. Dear mother. Uh, let's see here. Oh, there's a book. Let's see what this is. <clears throat> Soul's Divine Journey. Master Path. The Light and Sound Teachings. Now she's one of these. She's always been searching for a, her identity. Uh, I never really got into that, I, uh, and I'm not trying to find the inner child. As a matter of fact, several times people have said to me, and it's so funny, you know, when are you going to get out of your, your uh, second childhood? Impossible. I never got out of my first. I don't care. Now, let's see, what is this anyway? The master responds to seek, seeker inquiries. You alone are the object of your search. Well, this stuff is too deep for me. That's going in the trash. I, I hope she. Uh, I hope she doesn't watch this video. Now, let's see what we've got in here. We pull oh, a card. Yeah, three by five card. That's her. She's thrifty. Let's see. The sentiment is, always gets me from her mother. Let's see. Roses are red. Violets are blue. Garbage stinks. And a happy birthday to you. Love, Mommy D. Well, that, the D, by the way, that stands for dearest. Well, isn't that sweet to get something like that from Mother? Now, I can hardly wait to see what this... What the... Oh. <laughs> she must still think I'm three years old. Oh, this is too good to be true. Come on, you've got to, you've got to come up and see this one. Wait a minute. Let me wheel it in. I can't imagine what it's going to do. Okay, I think you'll be able to see that. Let's go. Wow! She's insane! <laughs> She's crazy! She is crazy! Tell her. She's gotta be crazy. She's gotta be crazy. Go get this thing out of here. <laughs> oh, I'll tell you. That bit, uh, that. That's 
sweet mother of mine, I tell you, she, she really has a way about her. Um, that really cracks me, that cracks me up. Okay, it's my birthday. I think I'd like to play for you just a little something on a, on a reed organ. And then I want to show you a, a something I have, a clock. And maybe one of you out there is going to know how uh, to help me fix this thing before I blow myself up. Um, here, let's uh, take a little trip to the organ loft, which happens to be on a, on a level floor.